Tony here from EndotechBlackSpot.com right now. I'm going to be showing you how to flash Team Wind Recovery on your Galaxy S2 Skyrocket and I'm going to do a little bit of review so you know how to use it and stuff because I know most of you use Clockwork Recovery as it is the most efficient and most uh, easiest user interface recovery. So let's go ahead and get to the process on how to flash the Team Wind Recovery. Keep in mind you will need root here skyrocket to do this and this will work on any of the Galaxy S2 skyrocket. First of all you're going to go to Play Store. Here search for Google Manager. And the first suggestion with uh, white background green logo kind of Google it will say. Install that. and we are going to go ahead and open the application once the application is opened go ahead and press menu and press install open recovery script press yes when it's asked you to and yes again and it will start downloading the recovery file itself which will be in that IMG format which you won't see it because it will right away install it for you and this process really takes less than 30 seconds and as you can see installing recovery image right now and as already said the recovery has been installed we are going to reboot, reboot recovery press yes and uh, let's see now if your phone boots into clock recovery. I had FC for a ma messaging application which really doesn't matter because I don't have SIM card in there. And as you can see that's your new recovery we just flashed. And uh, this is the interface or the first screen it comes to. And as you can see there are tabs install, wipe, backup, restore, mount, setting, advance and reboot. So it is like team and uh, clock memory recovery. They are similar because their task is the same, but their user interface is different, so they have different arrangement for you. First of all, when you press install tab, you will be directly directed into your internal storage, and uh, you will have on top two options to su select internal or external. I don't have external SD card in there, so it won't, I cannot select it. But if you tap it right here, you can go to your external SD card and select ROM from there. And here you will be seeing your internal SD card, and you can tap on any of the zip file that you want to flash. And uh, you will be at this screen, which is next. Now, here you can select zip file signature verification if it's important and if you want to make sure the verification of the zip file, you can select that. Tap it and it will give you the little X right there. Other thing it does, it gives you force MD5 check. This is really recommended for most of the ROMs because if you get corrupt MD5, then uh, you might end up with a soft break or something. So, this is recommended and I hope the focus of the camera is good if not sorry and uh, then you can add another zip file if you want like if you're flashing CM10 you might want to add the gaps for Jellybean Google applications and just swipe pick that up and swipe like you do iPhone swipe like I just swipe it through the screen and it will start flashing I really don't want to do that right now and that's how you install then the next file Next tab is the wipe where you have different options to wipe cache, delve cache, factory reset, wipe system. If you want external storage to be formatted or internal storage, you can do that and and or secure, which you, you did really don't need to use. Uh, most of the time when you're flashing ROM, you'll be using this sections like wipe cache. And uh, as you can see right there, it will wipe it out. Same with delve cache, just swipe. think I went in back but that's how you swipe it and then here when you do factory reset again swipe and you'll be able to do factory reset 
and uh, that's how all these tabs work just select it and wipe and it will wipe it let's go ahead and go back and go to a backup system setting here you can see the backup menu and uh, the screen shows you it will backup system which is 483 MB megabytes data which is 65 megabytes boot image which is your kernel 10 megabytes if you want it will back up your recovery which is your team in recovery and uh, you can set backup name too that's a really good feature if you're a clock recovery you cannot do that this from the clock recovery you will have to back up your phone through ROM managers to give it a name and uh, it's kinda so many steps going on when you do this but with this one you have really good choices to do it and uh, here you get enable comp compression that's good if you wanna compress your file and make sure it uses less storage in your internal storage and if you want it, it will skip MD5 generation during backup I don't recommend doing that you always need MD5 with so when you restore it, it will look for MD5 and if, if your file is corrupted it will skip restoration and give you error and if you wanna so here press that and you can select whatever the name you want and press enter when you're done so that's the name and just swipe through and you'll it will start backing up so again when you go on backup this is the menu we just talked about then we can go and restore and if you have any backup from it here you will come out press it again swipe it and you will be able to restore then under the mount menu here you can mount USB storage external or internal or unmounted depending on what you want to do and setting this is your setting for the recovery itself which you are not offered into Clockmore recovery because there is nothing much to do and here it will you can set it out to force MD5 check every time you flash any zip file or skip MD5 generation when you're doing a backup and you got like ignore image size errors during backup stimulate action for theme testing so here you have different task for the setting and you can do that and if you have noticed 11.09 p.m. that's the time and 64 percent battery it's the phone has and uh, you can reset the time right here and uh, it gives a really good information on top I didn't mention it I was waiting to mention it but since we are into setting and when, since it m mentioned time zone I will just talk about it and here you can restore it to the default fault default if you wanted to whenever then we can go in advance and here even where you can do copy logs to SD fix permission file manager reload theme terminal command yes that that is really good and ADB side load so oops when you go to the fix permission which is really useful when you do flashing around some developers recommend fixing permission and it's really good to do it useful and you can reboot system if you want but I'm not gonna do it and their file manager this is your file manager up level down level and uh, here is your shorting ascending and so descending so you can select with size and uh, this is the folder will end up chmr chmr755 rename folder so you got different options for your file manager and how you want to handle each file and stuff then you get terminal command you can go in there and uh, if you have any terminal command you can type right here I guess oh no this is just your system file which has the dev EFS etc external SD card go to system and here you will see all your what do you everything in your ROM so application if you go an application uh, let's see if it shows you no it does not but that's what it, the terminal command is for to see like ma uh, manage your ROM and where you're running your system actually then reload theme so it will get back to you on the theme because you have different themes for the team recovery too you can do it ADB side load which will start 
the usage adb side load file name that zip I don't have that so I'm just gonna cancel it and it failed because I cancelled it and this was advanced menu and under reboot menu you have a couple of options you can reboot system which will reboot your actual phone or reboot to recovery or you can power it off so what we did right here is just went over the team and recovery and what it has to offer us how you can use it uh, one of the most organized recovery or custom recovery I ever saw uh, has so many good features that you kind of feel left out out of the clockroom recovery and uh, this will get you going if you have team recovery and uh, let's see if you're flashing cyanide 10 and uh, if if you're using clockroom recovery it comes at installation aborted status 7 or status 9 something like that you can always do flash that run with team recovery and never have the problem because they are always updating the recovery so if you are if you like to use advanced recovery if you like task being a one click task this is really good and again comes free big biggest factor and uh, yes this was full review of team win recovery and how to flash team win recovery on your galaxy s2 skyrocket feel free to subscribe like my videos and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching guys